Okay, this is Andrew with the Rugged Store, and the final thing that I want to show you walking you through the dashboard for the CF20 Toughbook is your button functionality. So down here on your keyboard and buttons um, button, <laughs> we are going to open that up in the, in the dashboard, and the first things off is the tablet button setting. So we're going to open that up. Now the CF20 Toughbook has the detachable tablet portion, and on that you can see that it has a, it's circled in red here, it has the physical buttons that are located on the um, actual tablet. Now, you can leave them as default, and they are very useful in the default. A1 opens up, the dashboard A2 opens up a, key, a um, digital keyboard, but you can um, change those up. So, when you open up the A1 tablet button, so first things first, it shows that the A1, when you press it, it starts a program, and the program location is this. So that shows that it opens up the dashboard. I suggest you keep that the same, just because you'd want to use the dashboard for a number of different things, everything from changing the brightness to changing different settings that I've shown you how. But there's a section fun second functionality for each button that a lot of people don't utilize, and this is the press and hold. So when you hit this drop down arrow, it shows all the different functionalities that you can have with pressing and holding the button as opposed to just pressing it. So definitely select one of these, something that you might utilize a lot, maybe maybe either uh, move backward or forward, you know, if you're talking about internet browsing, um, or maybe open up a different program, you can open up a PC settings, pretty much whatever you think would be most useful. In, uh, most useful to you and your navigation suggest to do that. Um, you can do that with the A2 button as well and the rotation lock by default has um, press none settings and press and hold none settings. So the rotation lock is just a lock button that when you're flipping the tablet up and down either in vertical or in landscape mode or portrait or landscape mode has that gyroscope in there that tells the tablet to present the um, display in those two different modes and if you don't want that to be adjusting per how it's angled, you can hit that rotation lock. And that's uh, located six buttons over from A1. Now, if you open that one up, you can also set that pretty much exactly the same thing. Um, and you can set the settings for both of those. So that increases your tablet uh, button functionality. Um, the second thing that I've shown you in a previous video is the concealed key. Now, I can't really show you through just a screen capture of what the concealed key can do, but I will definitely make a video showing how useful that concealed key is, especially if you are, for say, a uh, police officer in a squad car on the side of the highway and you need to dim all the lights really quickly and all, all your lights blinding you so you can't see oncoming traffic or something, you can hit that concealed key and it will... Um, you can set it to what you want it to do, but mainly it can be used to automatically dim the included emissive keyboard, the screen, uh, different uh, power lights, etc. So that concealed key, you're definitely going to want to set that up in that kind of circumstance. And I'll show you how to do that and the functionality of that in a later video. Anyways, thanks for watching, and pretty much these clips are to show you how to walk through setting your CF20 Panasonic Toughbook up for the first time, and also to get a little more added functionality out of it. Hope you appreciate that. If you have any questions, definitely let us know. We're here just to talk to you whenever you need us, and we really appreciate talking to our customers. So give us a ring or shoot us an email. We'll look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.